Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here. Um, I have something for you guys that I have not done in a while, and that is going to be a, uh, a set of base reviews, guys. Um, I have gone through so many of the comments on these videos, and it's gotten to the point where it's really, really hard to find bases that are either not destroyed or if you're still in the same clan and whatnot, and it just takes a lot, a lot of time. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my clan right here. Um, I'm in the Wily ones. Uh, it's BJ's clan. We're in it together. Um, I mean, it, he's the leader. Whatever. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do is go through the um, the level range of 60 to 70. So whatever town halls are in that, I'm just going to pick some random ones. And for you guys who have left comments, I really wish that I could get to them. But so many of you are not in the same clan as you comment or you, you just jump around too much or your base is destroyed. Um, so what I'm going to do now is review some of these bases in my clan and then I want you guys to um, take what I say about their base and apply it to yours. So if it deals with centralizing mortars or anything like that, then do the same thing to yours and learn from that. I think that's going to be the best way I can do this. But comment below, guys, um, on what you think about the video and if it was helpful, if it wasn't, anything like that. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, like as well, and let's go ahead and jump into this, all right? So let's go down to the first one right here. Um, let's go to Jacob. He's a level 61, so we're going to be doing level 60 to 70. He is a level 61. He is in Crystal League. He is a Town Hall 10. Um, this is definitely a rushed base. As you can see, all of his wizard towers are level 3. Um, I don't know if you meant to rush up to Town Hall 10, but for anyone who is thinking of upgrading to the next Town Hall level without maxing out the Town Hall that you're at, don't do it. You're going to regret it because the loot penalties get ridiculous as you get up to the top. And if your defenses are low like this, you're not going to be able to get enough gold to get to them. Um, so Jacob may be at a high trophy range, um, but he has level 8 cannons, level... Uh, three wizard towers, his mortar towers are, or his mortars are level five and a level three. Um, so I'm not, you know, I'm not even going to spend that much time on this one. You just have to upgrade your defenses. I don't know if you, if you rush to town hall 10 and then realize that it was bad and now you're trying to work your way up, whatever it may be. Um, the base design looks cool. Your walls are upgraded pretty well. Um, but otherwise, I, I, I don't know. I'm just happy that I didn't rush to town hall 10. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead through here, um, and continue on. Why don't we go down a little bit more, um, towards the bottom. Caleb, uh, I've, I've seen you, you post on my videos, and you post in Clan Chat a lot, so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and review your base, right? So, you are a Town Hall level 8. Um, this is definitely very interesting. I do like to see the mortars like this. Um, they're almost all maxed. This one right here can be ta can be six um, for Town Hall eight. So good job there with your mortars. Awesome job having them in a triangle. They cover the entire base. Good job with the air defenses as well. Um, once you get two of them to level four, you're probably fine not upgrading until level nine. Um, because as long as you keep them centralized, they don't have to be as upgraded as um, as the others. Uh, your wizards are level 4. Um, I believe that you can go up to level 6 for Town Hall 8. Um, so I would definitely work on those next. Um, wizards are so important. They do so much mass damage um, with group AoE and everything. Uh, so definitely upgrade those um, for sure. I might even consider putting one of them right up here where this air defense is. Um, <coughs> just so that you can have it uh, covering this top section as well. But that's up to you. It's fine. If, if you get attacked by air a lot, then I would definitely leave your air defenses in there. Um, this right here, this clan castle, um, is very important. I wouldn't ask for giants. I don't know if you did or not. I would ask for archers most of the time. That's what I always do. Um, but you should try and scoot this in. Actually, what I would do, I changed my mind with this wizard thing. I would take your clan castle, put it right here where this air defense is, and bring the air defense over because I'm in your clan. I know how active it is. I know that people donate. I mean, your thing's full right now. Um, that should definitely be centralized. Your clan castle is one of the most important defenses that you have. Um, I like how you have all your walls upgraded. They're more upgraded than mine, so good job with that. Um, I'm not too sure about what this little outer ring is. I mean, it's good, but I just wouldn't attack unless I attacked 
right here where the builders' huts are. Um, so I might fill that in. I'm not sure. Um, it's definitely interesting. But otherwise, the layout looks pretty good. You can your cannons are at level nine. That one's going up to ten. Good job on that. Um, good job maxing that out. Level two barbarian king. That's where I'm at as well. Um, your archer towers are upgraded pretty well, so it looks like you're upgrading everything um, as much as you can. You do have this one random level 8 wall, uh, which I believe is 500,000 gold, um, so that's funny. Uh, but otherwise, this looks awesome. Um, you have your air defenses and your mortars triangulated, which is exactly what you want to do. Um, I don't know if you guys just heard that cat meowing, but it was in the room with me, so I just let it out. That's right, I do have a cat. Um, but anyways, Caleb, I like the base, man. Uh, definitely upgrade your wizard towers next. That is the next most important thing. It looks like your Teslas are at level 2, so good job with that. Um, but definitely upgrade your wizards next. I think that's going to be very, very important. All right, so let's jump in here, scroll back down to the bottom. I'm not going to mess with people up in Crystal League because they're probably all um, rushed, honestly. So why don't we go down to, uh, let's pick somebody random. Why don't we do, who else talks a lot? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> why don't we, why don't we do IC's base, okay? All right, so IC's base, um, let's go ahead and take a look at that, and it is destroyed, so never mind. <laughs> Apparently, since it just got 100%ed, it could use a little bit of work. Um, I've only been 100%ed a couple times, and it's very, very frustrating. Let's look at this guy, Rhino. Let's see how your base looks. He's a level 60 as well. Um, all right, so Town Hall, level 7. Not bad, looking good. Um, these bombs, I personally wouldn't buy. They're 50,000 gold. They don't do that much damage, and you're probably only thing you're going to have come in here is giants, and they're not going to die from that. Um, only time you should really use those is against goblins or something like that because they will all die from it, but giants won't die from it. So um, that's one thing I noticed first that I would change. You do have your uh, town hall centralized as well as your clan castle, so good job with that. Your air defenses are upgraded very well. Um, they're level 4, so awesome job there. Uh, your wizards are level 3. I believe that that's max for this. Um, it might not be, but those are looking good. I love seeing these triangulated mortars as well, covering the entire base. Um, your archers are in good locations as well, covering um, everything outside. This one's upgrading to level 8. So good job with that, actually, for um, for Town Hall 7. It looks like you're on the right path, and you're, you're almost uh, all the way to max. You have really, really good gold mines. I need to upgrade mine still. Um, but yeah, there's another big bomb right there. I just wouldn't use those. Um, they're very expensive, and it's kind of a waste. I mean, if, if one giant comes in there, he's going to be 50,000 uh, gold, and it's not even going to kill him. So that's the only thing I noticed about that. Let's see if you have anything in here. You do. You have all archers. You know I love to see that, so awesome job with that. Um, otherwise, man, there isn't really that much I would change. Keep upgrading like you are. It looks really, really good, so good job with that. Um, Rhino. So for any of you guys that are watching this um, and not in this clan and these are not your bases, um, just take note to what I'm saying and if it applies to your base, um, try and do the same thing with it. And I think that you will end up doing uh, really, really well. Let's go ahead down here to John and check out his base. And you guys can comment below on what town hall level you want me to review. This is very interesting. <laughs> Um, let me know what town hall you want me to review, and I will do so. Okay, so first of all, John, um, wall breakers do splash damage now, and they affect about three walls around them. So double walls are not effective anymore. Um, they're pretty much obsolete unless you have, like, three of them. So what you need to do, very seriously, is take these double walls and make way more compartments. And you're also protecting your collectors. That is not that smart. Somebody can break into somebody could break into this top compartment and probably uh, get fifty percent of your base without a doubt. Um, I do like to see this. The fact that you have these mortars triangulated like this. Everything else just seems kind of random. Um, if you're watching this video, why don't you try and do a base design like mine? You don't have to use the same one. But what I'm saying is just have more compartments because that way it will take troops longer 
to get through your base. Somebody could break into this top section and then break into the middle right here on this single wall, and they could have 80% of your base probably, um, just, with, just with going through two walls. So the more walls and the more obstructions that things have to go through, the longer your defenses have to shoot at them. So definitely think about that when it comes to, um, when it comes to your base. Uh, but guys, I'm going to leave it there on this. Um, if you are in my clan and your base got reviewed, leave a comment below. Let me know uh, if you disagree with something I said and uh, why you would back up your base uh, and its design. Um, otherwise, guys, uh, leave a comment below as to what town hall level you want me to do next. Um, and I can try and do subscriber-based reviews, but I just spent 20 minutes looking through some and only found like one that was in the same place and wasn't destroyed. So um, let me know about that. But anyways, guys, there is another base review section. I hope that you learned from it. Um, if you still have questions, leave them below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And make sure you do one thing for me. You can probably guess what it is. It is keep calm and clash on. I'll see you guys later.